Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel, or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forwards, apologies about that, and also if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well. If there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it is not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2023 related video here on my channel, and it's another sort of reaction video from me today as well, because earlier today, today being the 4th of December 2022 as I'm recording this video you're watching now, the artists in contention for Italy were released by the Italian broadcaster. Now of course the Italian selection is not strictly speaking a national final, but at the same time it sort of is. Sanremo is older than Eurovision, inspired Eurovision way back in the day, and the artists have been revealed today. So I'm going to take a look at that list for the very first time and give you my thoughts on the lineup. The San Remo Music Festival is pretty much the biggest show on Italian television every year. It lasts for five consecutive evenings. Somewhere between 11 and 14 million people watch it every night. It is big business. It takes place at the Teatro Ariston, which is a rather intimate fairly small theatre on the northwest coast in San Remo. There's an orchestra, lots of people sitting there in their suits and ties, very formal, and it just feels like such a classy event. It lasts for absolutely ages, just when you think it's finished, it goes on for another two hours or so. There are special guests, things like that. It's a big deal, and loads of Eurovision fans, of course, are very excited about it every year, including myself. So, what am I expecting from this lineup? Established names, big names in the Italian music scene, as well as some really good up and coming musicians, too, plus perhaps some artists that haven't competed in Sanremo for many, many years. Of course, we've had Gianni Morandi, who is co hosting next year with Amadeus, we've had Eva Zanicki. Those artists came back after years away, so who will it be for 2023, if anybody, we'll soon find out. We also tend to get a fair amount of rap music in San Remo, alongside, you know, emotional ballads, the occasional bit of pop, a sprinkling of rock. One thing is for sure, though, quality. We do generally get top quality coming out of this festival. And I have no doubt in my mind that Italy will be on course for another top 10 finish next May. Since returning in 2011, apart from the odd blip on the radar, results for the Italians have been very impressive indeed. Of course, they've won three times. 1964 with Giuliola Cinquetti, 1990 with Toto Cotugno, and the other year with Maneskin and Zitie Buoni. It's the golden hat-trick. Band made up of men and women, uh, a female soloist, and... A female soloist. Did I just say that? Male, female band. Yes, the golden hat trick. There you go. Dear, dear me. Anyway, let's take a look at the lineup now in full. Let me know your thoughts on it, of course. And uh, as always, feel free to check out the links in the description to my other social media pages, including the Instagram page that I co run with a really good friend, rajc.esc. A couple of weeks ago, we posted about Italy eight names on our Eurovision wish list, and that list included. Let me just get it up here for you. Elisa, Annalisa, Francesca Michelin, Francesco Gabbani, Elodie Diodato, Piero Pelù, and Madame. So if any of those eight names are involved, fantastic. Let's go through it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read out the names, and then I'm just going to look on Google Images and that sort of thing, just to see if I can get a good vibe about newcomers or established names again, just to see what we're working with. Anyway, in my own time, I will do my research off camera, and also um, I will be uh, will be doing another post on the Instagram page soon. Artists to watch, things like that. So the songs I don't think are going to be revealed for quite some time yet. It says the 16th of December here. Is that when we get the song titles or or the actual songs? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, there are 22 acts. And six more, I think it is, will be joining from San Remo Giovanni, which is the newcomer section, which I think has already started. So the first artist is Ariete. Don't know who that is, I'll be honest with you. What does it say? Ariete. Ariana del Giaccio. There we go. I shall find out more in just a moment. 
Then we have Articolo 31. This is a male duo, hip hop, formed in Milan, 1990 it says here. My goodness, so they've been around for quite some time. Uh, then we have Anna Oxa, wow, former San Remo winner, former Eurovision participant. That's an interesting name, last involved in 2011. Then we have Cola Pesce Di Martino, last involved last year. Uh, of course, they did quite well, didn't they? Was it them who had Musica Leggerissima, which was a number one hit in Italy? So they could be onto something special again. Cola Pesce Di Martino, musical duo. Then we have Comacos, they were involved uh, last year as well. This is an indie pop rap male duo, again. Uh, then we have, bear with me ladies and gentlemen, we have, no Annalisa then, that's a shame, Elodie, oh, there's one of the wishlist names right there ladies and gentlemen, Elodie is back, she had Andromeda of course, Tutta Colpa Mia I think she had the other year, Elodie Di Patrizzi, yeah, beautiful woman, bit of a fan favourite both times she's been involved in the past, that could be one to keep an eye out for absolutely, that's fantastic, then we have... Gianluca Grignani. Can't say I'm too familiar with this chap, but he was involved most recently in 2015. He is a guitarist. Okay. Then we have Georgia. Ooh, I believe they've won San Remo before. Or am I talking absolute trash? Georgia Todrani. Wow, 2001, the last time they were involved. I want to say they have won San Remo. Or am I thinking of another Georgia? Anyway, then we have I Cugini di Campania, formed in 1970 in Rome. So a very established band, but this seems to be their debut in San Remo. Then we have Lazza. This is another debutante, a rapper. As I was saying, there is a fair amount of rap in San Remo every year. Jacopo Lazzarini. There we go. Then we have LDA. Don't know who they are. Uh, then we have Leo Gassman. Ah, there's a familiar name. Uh, yeah, they won the new category of San Remo in 2020. So now they've gone big time, shall we say. Yes, indeed. Uh, then we have Levante. Last involved two years ago. Claudia Lagona. They had Tiki Bom Bom, I think it was which was a minor fan fave at the time. Not a bad track. Okay. Moda are back. They are a huge band. Last involved in 2013. From Milan. Formed 20 years ago. Yeah. I think they were the runners-up once upon a time. Yeah. I think so. They're a big band. Uh, then we have Madame. Madame. There's another wishlist name, ladies and gentlemen. I had a feeling they'd be back. Their first album did really well. whole bunch of singles. Francesca Cagliaro. Uh, their music is mostly rap, which I'm not totally into, but I'm really thrilled they're back. Could be a major contender. Then we have Mara Sate, uh, a debutante. Don't know much about them. Marco Mengoni. Hello. L'Essenziale. His last San Remo entry back in 2013, of course, went to Malmo. Finished in the top 10 for Italy. That's a beautiful ballad. There he is in his crisp blue suit. Wow, what a voice. That's a fantastic uh, artist to have involved. Then we have Mr. Rain, who is a rapper. Mattia Ballardi. Don't know much about him. Paola e Chiara. Female duo who've won this before, by the looks of it. Can't say I'm too familiar, though. 2005, the last time they were involved. Uh, then we have Rosa Chemical, a rapper. Manuel Franco Roccati, don't know much about them. Tananai, who had Sesso Occasionale, I think it was, uh, earlier this year. I don't think it did terribly well. Uh, Alberto Cotta Ramosino, there you go, I am familiar. Uh, Ultimo, as well, Niccolo Morricone, he's been involved a few times. 
Uh, he's had some okay tracks in the past too. So there we go. They'll be joined by the six artists from Sanremo Giovanni. My immediate thoughts on this lineup. There's a lot I don't know, but some I do know quite a bit about. I am particularly excited for Elodie. I think Cola Pesci Di Martino could be contenders based on name alone. Anna Oxer, that's a big name to have back. And Moda. Levante, that could be a fan favourite when the song comes out. Ultimo as well, could do very well. Marco Mengoni, he'll be looking to win again, that's for sure. So let's do a little bit of research on these unfamiliar names. I will be brief. So, Ariete. Um, whoops. Uh, it's coming up with pictures of tanks. Okay. What's that all about? Ariete. There they are. Okay. They seem to like beanie hats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Playing the guitar there. That's an image from Netflix. That's interesting. Uh... Ariana del Giaccio. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. Like I said, I'll do my research off camera. Then we have Articolo 31. Um, yeah, male duo. One of them's got a big tattoo on their neck. Uh, yeah. It's giving off Beastie Boys vibes. That's what I'll say about that. Anna Oxer, that's a big name to have back. Uh, Gianluca Grignani. Been involved before, but this was a long time ago. They look like a rocker. Mid-length hair. Smouldering looks into the camera. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, Giorgia. Giorgia Todrani. Have they won San Remo before? Yes, in 1995. I thought so. They're 51 now. Look at this. Uh, 7 million records worldwide. 12 top 10 albums, of which 5 made number 1 in Italy. 24 top 10 singles, of which 5 reached number 1. Three times at San Remo, but not since 2001. Wow, big name to have back. I Cugini di Campania, the countryside cousins. They are known for their use of falsetto and their eccentric look, a cross between glam and kitsch. Interesting. Hmm. They've been going for a very long time. Okay. Uh, I'll just move across here. Leonardo Gassman was on the 12th season of The Italian X Factor. He's 24. Debut album didn't do incredibly well. Um, Levante, we know about. 35 from Catania. Four albums, whole bunch of singles, including Asensio, which went to number one. Moda, oh, it's worth keeping an eye on them. From Milan, 2002 to the present day. Oh, yeah. Many, many albums that have fared very well. They had an album out uh, just a few weeks ago, actually. Quite a few hit singles, too. Fantastic. Uh, Mara Sate. Doesn't say much about them. Let me type it in. Mara Sate. Okay, there they are. Quite beautiful. Long hair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that could be a type of pop song then. Mr. Rain. Who is Mr. Rain? Okay. Tattoos on the neck again. Rapper. Mm-hmm. Blonde hair. Okay, fair enough. Not a huge fan of rap. Uh, but I can enjoy it from time to time. Uh, Paola e Chiara. Have they won San Remo before? They won the new artist category in 1997. Chiara Yetsi and Paola Yetsi. Says here that they haven't been active since 2013. So is this a big comeback? Quite a few albums. A couple of hit singles. Vamos a bailar. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Rosa Chemical. No idea, I'm afraid. Uh, tattoo on the forehead. Blonde hair. Give very much in the mould of Achille Lauro. Interesting. Uh, then I know about Tananai, Ultimo, yeah. 
Latsa. Don't know anything about Latsa. Oh, tattoo on the neck. That is the theme for Italy this year. Tattoos on the neck. This is going to be a wrap type entry as well. Yeah. Okay. And then LDA. Oh, it's coming up with a lithium chemical. Interesting. LDA Italy. Is that them? I think so. They look fairly young. Could be another wrap type entry, perhaps. Okay, fair enough. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Based on name alone, and Georgia, that is, I looked them up, didn't I? Yeah. That could definitely be one to keep an eye out for. I would say Anna Oxa, Colepesce di Martino, Elodie, Georgia, Moda, Madame, Marco Mengoni, and perhaps Ultimo, on name alone, could be on course to do very, very well. It says here, these 22 artists were selected from over 300 submissions. Ah, here we are. Um, the competing song's titles will also be made known on December the 16th. And then I think the songs themselves won't be out until sort of the week of San Remo. I think that's usually how it goes. Anyway, what do you think of that lineup? It's not bad. Uh, definitely as I expected. Established names, some newcomers, a fair amount of rappers... Not bad at all. I will do my research in my own time. Otherwise, that's it for now. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and roll on more Eurovision 2023 news. Bye for now.